everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be sharing my thoughts on the new release by kayali called yum pistachio 33 if you want to hear what i think of this brand new release then keep watching if you're new here welcome if you're returning welcome back and thank you so much for your continued support if you haven't yet subscribed please go ahead hit that subscribe button hit the like button and activate that notification bell Without further ado, let's dive right in. As mentioned before in today's video, I will be talking about Yum Pistachio 33, a brand new release by Kayali. They set the release date for March 20th. However, it was available for purchase on the Sephora website. That's where I purchased mine. It was sold out within hours, I think. It was sold out that same day it appeared. The box is a mint green color, which matches the bottle. This is mint green, which is one of my favorite colors. It has a white cap as opposed to their usual clear caps. This bottle is giving me very spring and summery vibe. It's funny because pistachio gelato also happens to be one of my favorite flavors. So I was over the moon excited. I also love pistachio fragrances. Girl of Now from Ellie Saab is one of the fragrances that I absolutely adore, which has pistachio. Now. First, I'm going to go ahead and read the notes to you, and then I'm going to give you my full on, honest, thorough thoughts. This bottle has the main notes written on the back. The notes are hazelnut, sweet rum, whipped cream, marshmallow, chestnut, cotton candy. I will also tell you all the notes that are listed. Top notes are pistachio, rum, hazelnut, cardamom, ice cream, bergamot. Middle notes are lily of the valley, geranium, jasmine, pear, peony, raspberry, white peach. And base notes are whipped cream, marshmallow, sandalwood, cedar, cotton candy, cacao, lacum, which is a Middle Eastern dessert, and tonka bean. This sounds like my dream fragrance. You know, I love my gourmands. I love fully sweet, decadent marshmallowy, gooey, delicious, nutty fragrances. So I'm gonna go ahead, spray some on. I did get to wear this for a week because I purchased this a little over a week ago, as I said, when it was available at Sephora. I forget the exact date. And ever since then, I have been testing it and wearing it all day long so that I can tell you about its performance as well. Upon the initial spray, this is very crisp, and citrusy. The bergamot is front and center. It's a bit fizzy and minty and boozy. So it's giving me a mojito drink vibe or like a rum with lime or lemon. It's fresh, it's light, it's crisp. Now my question is where's the pistachio? I am looking for that pistachio note. So about 20 minutes into the dry down it starts to get a touch sweeter. With all the notes listed, I expected this to be really sweet, at least much sweeter than it actually is. If you're expecting a fluffy, milky, pistachio sweet fragrance, this is not it. This is not gonna give you that. This is more of a very fresh, uplifting scent. On the deep dry down, I get some of the nutty notes. I pick up a little bit of the hazelnut, a little bit of the pistachio. Now. If I didn't know what this fragrance was about, knew nothing about it, and someone said, smell this, guess what flavor gelato this is, I would guess it was a lemon gelato. I have eaten pistachio gelatos plenty, and they are always very sweet. They smell sweet. They smell much sweeter. This smells like a lemon gelato with maybe a few sprinkles of pistachio and hazelnut here and there just for decoration. This fragrance doesn't scream pistachio. If you're looking for a true pistachio fragrance, this is not it. It does have that cold gelato feeling. So you do feel like you're dipping your spoon into a delicious, refreshing gelato. This fragrance will be perfect for summer and springtime, for hot weather. Yeah, now I'm getting a little bit more of that whipped cream marshmallow. It's a little creamier, but not what I was expecting. Because it's so refreshing and it has the boozy citrus, it does smell really good. It does smell delicious and refreshing, like I said. I do really like the scent. Despite the fact that I was disappointed about the pistachio not really showing up, I really, really like this fragrance for what it is. When I smell this, it does make my mouth water, it makes my lips pucker, and I just want to do that. It's a very refreshing, zesty, sparkling, a little boozy scent. 
As far as performance, this lasts on my skin for about four to five hours and I really overspray. I put this in my clothes. It's not the worst performing fragrance. It's not the best. I also want to see if it performs better once it gets warm outside. It's really cold where I am. They couldn't have come out with this at a better time. This will be perfect for spring and summer. Do I recommend this? If you love citruses and you love those sparkling clean type of summer scents, for me, I could say it was well worth it because I am really enjoying this fragrance. I do really like it. This is not a love, but I do really like this one a lot. And I will be wearing it spring and summer. I am happy that I purchased this. I wanted to ask Mona and Kiali if you could please come out with a flanker for fall and winter where it's a deep, rich pistachio. Maybe not a gelato, but like a really rich and decadent pistachio dessert. It's very creamy, fluffy, marshmallow, and sweet. Please, I love that. Please let me know down in the comments below what you think of this review. Have you purchased this fragrance? Are you planning to purchase it? Just please share your overall thoughts with me and the other viewers. Let's have a conversation about it. That concludes my video for today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you back here soon. Take care.